Coming up on Hands On Tech, I am going to show you my new favorite wireless charging pad. It's from Satachi, and it's awesome. Hands On Tech is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. Access everything you need online simply and securely wherever you're logged in. LastPass makes security for your digital life effortless. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. This is Twit. This episode of Hands On Tech is brought to you by LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. Folks, I have been on the hunt for the perfect wireless charger to set next to my bedside whenever I go to sleep. I want to have a device that's going to charge my Apple Watch, my iPhone, and my AirPods with no issue. And well, Apple was supposed to have provided that for me, and alas, it did not. So what is a guy to do? Well, there have been other offerings, and in fact, I think we covered one here on uh, Hands On Tech not too terribly long ago. It was Mophie's wireless charging mat. But now, I've got a replacement, and it is incredible. It is the Satachi Trio wireless charging pad, and boy howdy is this one of my favorite products that probably I've ever had. So let's talk about it. Well, the Satachi Trio wireless charging pad is a three, uh, Trio, uh, method charging pad for your AirPods, your iPhone, and your Apple Watch. This device lets you charge all three at once and it does it overnight wirelessly. So each of these spots are of course laid out for you to drop your devices wherever they need to go. And the AirPods charger works for both the new AirPods Pro and the current AirPods with wireless charging case. You can drop that right there and it charges just Fine. Uh, there are three little circles on the front, three LED lights. Some people uh, are very uh, curious about that. And I actually have taken those and covered them up because I don't like to have those lights shining at night. They will go away after a while, but just the fact that they're there at all and uh, putting light into the air is not something I'm into. So I go ahead and have those covered up. But there are three charge indicator lights in case that is something that you want to know to make sure, for sure, that your devices are charging as they should be. Now on the back is simply uh, this aluminum covering with all of the necessary information about the device and these very large, very thick uh, rubberized pads on which the device is, is placed. And so it really holds quite nicely whenever you set it down on a, on, a, on a counter, on a surface, and it does not go anywhere. It has no interest in moving. Uh, one of the very delightful things about the Satachi Trio wireless charging pad is not only the design, which is this beautiful aluminum, uh, it doesn't have chamfered edges, or actually, it does have slightly chamfered edges, so very Apple design inspired, uh, but this design is quite nice, it's very hefty, uh, it, it feels good in the hand, and oh, how beautiful, it's USB-C charging, we love USB-C charging, uh, but what I love is that you can charge your Apple Watch in two modes. You can have it lay down flat, or it supports nightstand mode by flipping up and letting you place your Apple Watch right there. So if you're curious about what nightstand mode is, uh, that is Apple's way of letting you use your Apple Watch sort of as a, as a nightstand clock. Uh, when the watch is charging, you can sort of bump the watch very slightly, just give it a light tap, and you can see the time. It's displayed in a nice uh, dark green color so that it doesn't blast your retinas in the middle of the night. And that way you can always tell what time it is. So it's sort of like using your Apple Watch as an alarm clock and uh, just a, a clock in the middle of the night if you ever need it. Uh, it's uh, there and available to you to see the time without turning on your bright phone or like I said having that brightness from the Apple Watch display itself affect you so it's a special mode that uh, activates when it's charging you can see how long it has to charge and then also check the time very easily 
Now let's talk about what we have on offer with this wireless charging case. So of course, along with those um, LED indicators to show you and the, the USB-C charging, which is fantastic, uh, it offers 7.5 watt fast charging. So that often is something that folks are curious about with their devices. How much juice am I gonna get out of this thing? Uh, it comes with a 24 watt USB-C power charger and the cable. So it's all included in the package, which is quite nice. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, but yes, you get 7.5 watt fast charging from the Satachi Trio wireless charging pad. I have to tell you, I've been using it for a while now and genuinely it is the best. I don't find myself having to ooh, very lightly place my device and try and figure out where it needs to go perfectly to sit down. I put my phone down. I've already got usually my AirPods uh, charging case on there and I drop my Apple watch onto it and boom, it's charging all three so easily, so simply. And I just love this thing. It is, in my opinion, well worth the cost. When you compare it to other multi wireless charging pads, it is round about the same price, but you get excellent hardware and excellent design all comes together to make for an excellent uh, bedside charging pad, which just, I mean, what else could I want? It's fantastic. If you're interested in getting a Satachi wireless charging pad of your very own, the Trio is available for $120 to charge all three of your devices. Uh, and of course, if we compare that to the cost of individual charging pucks, you're coming about the same cost if you were to have three different chargers for an Apple Watch, for an iPhone, and for your AirPods or AirPods Pro. So good price in my opinion, beautiful, excellent design, USB-C charging, ah, oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, and I hope that you will dig it too. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Hands on Tech. Of course, you can check out any of my other shows, including Hands on iOS, where I cover uh, apps and, and answer your questions, and of course, iOS Today, where Leo Laporte and I talk about all sorts of stuff, including WWDC. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. This episode of Hands on Tech is brought to you by LastPass. It's always important to have a plan for the unexpected. LastPass can be deployed quickly in the midst of any event to ensure your business keeps running smoothly and every employee login is secure. Single sign-on manages employee access in a centralized view, so IT always has insight into who has access to what from where. LastPass protects while providing a seamless workflow for your employees. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching. Hands on tech.